So that's the preparation done. So let's now go in and start working on our baking out our occlusion map. So what we need to do first, we'll just work on the torso uh, initially, and you can do the same for the limbs. Uh, we're going to go to rendering, lighting, shading, assign new bake set. And we want to do a, bake, a texture bake set because we're baking out the texture. That assigns that to the torso. And then we can come down here and we can adjust the name. We can adjust the resolution. So let's say 1024 by 1024. We're going to increase the number of samples to two. And it's always good to fill the texture seams, but sometimes it doesn't really work. So it's, uh, um, well, it's always good to add it in and just see how it how it goes. So that's all you need to set in there. I mean, let's put in a name, um, torso occlusion bake, like so. Light and color is fine. So that's all set. But now we know what's going to bake. We need to tell it what to bake, uh, if you sort of get what I mean. And to do this, we need to assign a surface shader to the torso. And that's just going to make it black. And at the moment, all that'll do is bake out that black. So now we want to tell it what, uh, what sort of map we want it to bake out. So in out color, we're just going to go in here, go down to textures, and select this Mib Amb Occlusion. Now we're going to set max distance to 10 and that's just going to tighten the amount of fall off you get from your occlusion map. And samples, I would probably leave that as 16 initially. Bake out a map just to see how it looks and then turn up the samples. Um, I used 1 to 8 and that will bake out a higher quality map but it's obviously going to take a lot longer and obviously if we go to our texture bake set the higher the resolution the longer it's going to take to bake as well so maybe just do a test run first on a lower resolution map maybe keep it at 512 make sure it's all working and then you can ramp up these settings so that's all set what you need to do now is just Select the model, light in shading, batch bake, open up these options, set it to single object because you're only baking one object, enable bake shadows, all you do then is click convert. Now it's going to take a while to generate this occlusion map. So what I'm going to do is we'll pretend we've clicked convert on that. What you do then is you go through and do repeat the whole process, but on this just this one limb here. That will go through uh, and uh, do all the uh, calculations and spit out another map. So I've already got one here that I've worked on and piped up earlier. So this is sort of what you get. And if I turn off the lighting, switch that to use no lighting. So this is all just the texture now. As you can see, we've got this nice shading underneath here where we've got the uh, shadowing coming from the torso down to these areas here. We've got the shadowing here where this piston is quite close to this arm area here. We've got a slight issue with a, uh, a seam here but we can fix that later. We don't need to worry about that. That's what I was saying earlier even though some, sometimes even though you fill in fill texture seams it just seems to ignore it and uh, not do it anyway. But like I said, there's an easy way to fix those seams. But that is just the occlusion map baked. If we look underneath, you can see underneath the feet are quite dark. And that's because we added in this floor plane, which allowed us to bake out. Um, yeah, which gave us that uh, shadowing under the feet. If that, show, if that floor plane wasn't there, the underneath of the feet would be light, as if it was floating in the sky. So if we go to, I'll just have a look at the maps. So this is what the maps look like when they're output. And they've followed the, uh, the UV layout. You can see here we have our dark areas where objects are intersecting with other objects, but that's 
that's just what we wanted because that's how the objects are. We've got our shadowing underneath here. And here's our limbs one. And because the left and right side are identical, they're just mirrored, we can duplicate this, mirror it across and fill in this side. So it, rather than doing twice the amount of calculations, we can just use one side. So let's go back to Maya. So that's the first map outputted and that's going to give us our lighting and just give the texture a lot more depth. And it didn't take long to, uh, to set up an output and it's just going to give you texture, um, it's just going to give it a lot more life. 